Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah. yeah. You better know it, bitch. We got a wild and crazy show for you tonight. Yes, we do, man. We got Rick Ross in the headlines. Shout out to Rick Ross, man. The biggest boss himself, Rick Ross. Y'all cannot hate on the boss, man, because guess what? Every day he hustling. Every day he hustling. Guess what? Anytime you do something every day like that, you can't do nothing but get good at it, man. And he done got great at hustling, man. Look what happened. He made $3.6 million at his motherfucking car show. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Say it ain't so. You mean it? You, listen, man, listen. I'm going to tell you why I'm so hyped about this. Because you know how uh, many times you don't have people come to your house, man, and you ain't make shit. Imagine a bitch just coming to your house and just hanging out, man. Y'all just having a good time. You let the bitch pull up, play their music, man. You let vendors come sell food, all type of shit. And next thing you wake up in the morning, you count 3.6 million. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what Rick Ross did. That's exactly what Rick Ross did, man. Rick Ross, you the boss, man. I don't give a fuck about no other rappers, man. I don't, don't want to hear shit about Jay-Z. I don't want to hear shit about Drake. I don't want to hear shit about Lil Wayne or whoever the fuck your favorite rapper is they ain't doing this shit like rick ross rick ross didn't give a fuck who came to his uh his establishment man he ain't give a damn who came to his car show he don't give a damn who come to his house as long as you can pay the fee you granted access that's some real player shit because he had number of hustlers dope dealers killers i'm talking about prostitutes he had everybody that from all walks of life in on his property, man, everybody was hanging the fuck out. Pause. I'm so serious, man. I'm talking about he had some of the cleanest don'ts you will ever see in world history on his lawn. Can you imagine that, man? People coming from all over the United States just to drive their hookup car, just to impress Rick Ross. Sometimes, man, depending on how your car look, man, he'll just buy that shit, man. Yeah, shout out to Colt from uh, Top 5, man. Colt went up there one year, man, and Rick Ross brought two of his cars, man. Straight up, man. Straight up like that there, man. You got people up there taking their cars up there, man, and winning big money, man, getting keys. You see what I'm saying, man? Listen, man, I'm talking about not not, not keys, like the drug keys, but the, the, the car keys, you know what I mean? When you uh win... When you win uh, the car show, man, he give you like a diamond out car key, man. Yeah, you get that, you get some money, and you get a lot of recognition, man. Yeah, boy, listen, it's a beautiful place, a beautiful place to be at, man. It don't be no violence there. Everybody be getting along because guess what? Everybody got money. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you get a whole bunch of people together that got a lot of money, man, it don't be no beef with each other, man. It's on the time. The only time you really get that, that shoot them up, bang, bang shit when everybody broke and they got problems and they on the edge and they just looking to crash out. <laughs> yeah, they just looking to crash out about it and everything. But that wasn't the case over there at Rick Ross uh, Car Show, man. Rick Ross Car Show was the rawest car show in world history, man. Can you imagine, man, this man do this shit every year? This year he made $3.6 million, and this is a, it's a recession. This nigga made $3.6 million during a fucking recession. The United States going through a recession, this nigga made $3.6 million. Listen, man, a hey, United States, I don't know what kind of uh, means y'all need to come. Y'all need to reconcile and do something with Rick Ross, man, because Rick Ross can get y'all motherfuckers up out of the dead. <laughs> yeah, any time a nigga can just throw a barbecue and make $3.6 million, you need him on his team. You need him on your team. I don't give a damn what kind of specialists y'all got, man, financial geniuses and specialists. Y'all need Rick Ross on y'all team, man. That man know how to make money. You understand what I'm saying? He know how to make money and don't even look like he making the money. You see what I'm saying? That man had over two, uh, 12,000 people there, man. Twelve Over 12,000 people at, at, his, at his house, bro. You know how big your house got to be? You know how big your yard got to be to have 12,000 people there with vehicles? You got motherfuckers pulling up with semi-trucks with 10, 15 cars on the motherfucking semi-truck at once. You see what I'm saying? You got a lot of people just pulling up, people pulling up with three, four cars at a time, all type of shit, man. It was amazing. Rick Ross estate is amazing, man. I'm talking about he got a farm out there. Man, it's just beautiful, man. And I got to, once again, man, I don't pull too many niggas dicks, paws, but I got to give Rick Ross his props. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, said that. So I got to give a nigga his props, man. How can you hate on a nigga, man, that made $3.6 million, man, in one motherfucking day? How can you hate on a nigga that did that in 24 hours, man? Come on, man. 
Come on, man. If you hating on a nigga like that, you need to jump off the motherfucking bridge. Yeah, you need to find a nigga's bridge and jump the motherfucker off. Yeah, you need to jump off the bridge, man. You cannot hate on Rick Ross, bro. What rapper is out there doing that right there, man? I'm talking about, bro, you, you got rappers, man, that can scream so much music and won't make that shit, bro, because once you got the, once the labels get a hold of that shit, and you got to pay everybody, man, and you get whatever, you get your shit on the back end, you ain't really got nothing, bro. This man made $3.6 million just hanging the fuck out, bro, at his house. Just walking around, man, smelling like Bond number nine and smoking big gauze. That's what he was doing. He was smoking Zah the whole time. Smoking Zah the whole time. And guess what? Ain't nobody was hating on him. Ain't nobody trying to rob him. Ain't nobody trying to break in his house. Ain't nobody trying to count his pockets. They don't give a fuck how much money he, they, he made. They were just happy to be there. And that's how it's supposed to be, man. You don't supposed to be counting nobody's pockets, man, as long as your pockets is 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 got motion. You don't put the care nothing about nobody else's pockets, man. And that's what I like. That's why I say next year, uh, Urban Gossip TV will be at uh Rick Ross car show, and we just ain't gonna show up. We gonna show up and show out all the way. You damn show sure gonna know we in the building. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get some uh uh conversation with Rick Ross. You understand me? We gonna be live and all this shit gonna go down, man. Cause it's Florida shit. You understand me? But shout out to everybody that attended. Rick Ross car show, man. People came from far and wide to come and, and, and just have a good time, man. And that's what happened. That's how you supposed to do. So I hope other folks, man, do the same thing, man. We need somebody else to throw a car show. What's up, Jay-Z, man? Go ahead and put something together, man. You the greatest rapper of all time. You the greatest rapper alive, man. You understand me? So you need to throw something like this because we have yet been invited to anything that you um put together. You understand? Yo, got it. Yeah, your big head ass need to do something, man, because guess what? CMG over there hurting right now. You got money bad, yo, getting ready to leave from over there. You understand what I'm saying? You got Big 30, he ain't with that bullshit. The only person you really got going on, man, is um the the uh uh uh, uh big dude, whoever that nigga. I forgot the one nigga name, um the, the black ass nigga you got over there. That nigga that'll be jamming, man. But he the only one, man, that's keeping you afloat right now, man. You understand what I'm saying? So uh yeah, big boogie. Uh, some shit, uh, some shit like that. That whatever his name is, man. But um, yeah, uh, yo, got it. You you claim that you got all all uh, all this money and shit. You came, you got love and respect, man. Listen, throw something like that over with Ross, man. Throw a casho, man. Gucci man, throw a casho. Do something. Somebody throw a cookout. You ain't even got to throw a casho. Throw a cookout. I want to see somebody else do this other than Rick Ross, man. I want to see somebody else do this, man, because y'all niggas act like y'all so screech. Y'all want to make fun of Rick Ross? Talking about Rick Ross was a correction officer and all this type of shit. What correction officer gonna have you come to his motherfucking career? <laughs> yeah, if that's the case, all you niggas need to go be a correction officer. Because you niggas ain't making no money like Rick Ross, bro. You niggas scared to have a bitch come to your crib. Nah, I got to give a shout out to Boosie. Boosie don't have no car show. But Boosie had that pool party. And Boosie have a whole bunch of hoes come to that pool party and they get loose. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and the pool party do be swole. You see what I'm saying? He have a lot of famous people there. I don't know if just any everybody can come, but uh, he do have a, a annual pool party. So I shout out to Lil Boosie for that. Um, leave in the comments, man, who else be having little festivities that they just invite whoever, whoever want to come as long as they got the money, man, and meet the credentials. But um, as far as I know, man, just Rick Ross, man. Rick Ross, he, he the biggest boss, man. It's a lot of people out there that should do it, but they ain't did it yet. 50 Cent, you do a lot of uh, uh, bullying and all this type of shit, man, but we have yet to see you put something together like this here. Now, you know you don't put together a lot of TV shows and um, movies and all that type of shit, man. We respect the game. Don't get it twisted. We respect your game. Don't get it twisted. By the end of the day, man, you got to get Rick Ross's flowers. You might as well pull the plug from uh, cracking jokes on Rick Ross, man, because Rick Ross don't tell you to count it up, nigga, because he made $3.6 million, nigga, in one motherfucking day hanging out in his front yard, nigga. That's what he did. He hung out in his front yard blowing big Zaw, the biggest Zaw. You see what I'm saying? Sipping lemonade and just, uh, uh, and, and, and just going around, you know what I mean, being a good host. You know what I'm saying? So... Hey, y'all got to get y'all shit together, man, because Rick Ross damn so got his shit together, boy. You understand me? Man, the man house, I'm going to say this shit again. The man house was down there $5 million. 
this nigga down there, this nigga down there made what he paid for his house in one motherfucking day. Cause guess what? Every day he hustling. Every day he getting up, man. He ain't, he he ain't sitting down just 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 spending money. This man, this man doing shit, man. That's making so much motherfucking money. It's ridiculous. You understand me? Yeah, y'all gotta stop hating on Rick Ross, man. So now y'all need to have a a, a a different look about Rick Ross now. Yeah, you need to have a different look about Rick Ross right now. I don't see Birdman doing this shit. I, whoever you think hot right now, them niggas ain't never do no shit like this. This type of shit Rick Ross doing ain't in this nigga, these niggas' mind to do nothing like that. They, it ain't in their heart to do nothing like this here. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of these niggas scary. A lot of these niggas scary. That's how you know Rick Ross really own that shit, man. I won't, I won't hear nothing about no correctional officer, man. Whatever, whatever the reason why he did that, that was his reason, man. But I ain't got nothing to do with his, 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 him personally. You see what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to do with that. Y'all got to respect Rick Ross, man. I'm talking about respect. I'm talking about respect that name, Rick Ross the boss. Matter of fact, you don't even need to call the nigga Rick Ross no more. Call him the boss, the biggest boss. Yeah, that's what y'all need to call him, the biggest boss. You hear me? The biggest boss, man, because that's a paid nigga, boy. That's a paid nigga, man. I'm so serious, man. I'm just so proud, man, because at the end of the day, man, anybody that be under the scrutiny, like Rick Ross, man, how y'all be clowning the man and all that type of shit, man, and the man fuck around and show you how he make money, man, and you know this shit is real, you sitting here looking at this shit, man, you can turn on YouTube, and all you gonna see is a whole bunch of motherfucking clips for when people was at Rick Ross' house, man. Yeah, man, it's oversaturated with number of footage from Rick Ross' car show, man. Everybody talking about the shit. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, at the end of the day, man, you need to get with the program. Everybody got to everybody got to link up, man. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't beat them, join them. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV, because we the shit. <laughs>